everyone it's Vic here welcome back to the channel and today I just wanted to show you um, a little painting that I just finished it's uh, an amalgamation painting so from the amalgamation series amalgamation basically just means it's a mix in this case with lots and lots of different colors and applied in a particular way a technique that I developed many years ago so there's lots of acrylic paintings online as you've probably seen um, the difference with this one is I don't, it's not an acrylic pour, pour painting. I actually do this with a brush. So to give you an idea how big the brush is, you can see it against my hand. So it's quite small. <laughs> so that's what I apply the paint with. People often think I just pour it on, but I don't. So um, this one here has got blue sides. It fades from like a dark blue to a light blue along the edges there that it's picking up. And it has got quite a texture. All the amalgamation paintings have, do have a nice texture. And you can just see that there. In the light it's just picking that up so if i zoom in so you can take a little look at the colors i've not used any filters with this because it's not really fair paintings i like to show as they are i'm filming this in not great light to be honest it's in the evening but hopefully it might give you a rough idea and as you work your way around you see it's an absolute myriad if that's the right word of different colors and different shapes the shapes, uh, so the colours go right the way to the edge and I cut it off right on the edge there on the corner. So it's nice and clean and crisp. Could go around the corner, um, I used to years ago, but I just think it looks a bit crisper this way. Been doing these now for about 15 years, I think, and I first started developing the technique back in the 90s, late 1990s, before acrylic pour was a thing. <laughs> so um, there we go, just found my own way to create something rather different. So this is a look at an amalgamation painting. This one here is quite small. This is only 12 inches high by 10 inches wide. So this is a very small one. But I do much, much bigger ones um, in these designs. I also do all different shapes, heart shapes, diamond shapes, squares, any, any kind of shape you can think of. And I can get pretty much any shape that you've got in your imagination created and paint on that as well. They're on a board, so um, I can't actually touch this. It's still very wet. But underneath it's a recessed board so it's absolutely solid it's not on a canvas it needs to be on a solid board because the weight and it is um, quite heavy when i do big versions of this um i did one thing which is about a meter across something like that and just the, the paint itself i think weighed about three kilos i worked out so it's quite quite heavy and they're quite chunky but you know something different you get a nice effect and i've probably come quite well known for producing these actually i I probably sell more of these than anything else I've done and I've sold well over a thousand paintings on these particular ones I've probably sold I'm guessing maybe a hundred of these something like that not too sure but if you look at them online there's quite a few floating around abroad as well um, and there's a couple in South Africa Canada America um, and that's about as far as they got I think most of them are only in the UK obviously but um, yeah if you like what you see get in touch Drop a comment, always pleased to hear what people think. And um, there we go. So they're quite hypnotic, aren't they? I think they're quite hypnotic. You're not going to get bored with this, are you? <laughs> and they come with a gloss finish. I put a really high gloss finish on them. Uh, this one's still very wet. They take about, I would say, a good 10 days to two weeks to dry completely before I can actually um, put any varnish on. So it's a bit of a, it is quite a long process for an acrylic paint. So acrylic generally speaking dry it does dry quite quick but the way i use this is very very heavy and very thick but uh, there we go anyway so that is the latest painting amalgamation painting as i whiz around there uh please subscribe to the channel if you'd be kind enough to do that be brilliant give the old thumbs up the old bell thing or whatever it is they say you have to do in best youtube fashion <laughs> and uh, hopefully it might get uh, Bit more attention on youtube feel free to share the video i've got no problems sharing work at all if you see something you like by all means click the old share button and pop it over to a friend or somebody who might be interested and have a look at it if you see anything you fancy drop me an email always happy to do commissions email address is victor tilson at yahoo.co.uk it's victor with a k and you can check out my website which is victilson.art so always remember Vic with a K, please. So thanks a lot for your time. Take care and check back soon. Bye.